but there are other things that are a part of you that you shouldn't have to give up just because you live here. Twerk Janelle, show us how! Once you go black, you never go back. The blonde hair, blue eyes is going to go a longer way than the dark skin, dark eyes, curly, kinky hair like mine. Hi everyone, I am Shripya, just your regular brown girl in Japan and today we're discussing what it's like being a person of color in Japan. We have a very special friend here, Janelle. <laughs> Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for having me. Could you please introduce yourself? Sure. So my name is Janelle Wellens. I am a space engineer and flight director living here in Tokyo, Japan, where I get to work on really amazing stuff in space, getting to the moon. <laughs> How long have you been here in Japan? I've been living in Japan for, I think it's been like a year and a half, and it's been a really a journey because I never saw myself living here before. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Do you like it? I love Japan. <laughs> Not only is it beautiful, culturally rich, it's easy to get everywhere because of the trains, it's clean. I mean, you could go on and on and on about it. But what I really enjoy about Japan, I think, has been the ability to maintain really meaningful relationships with your friends and the people that you meet here. Yeah, I think it's very important when you're in a foreign country to find people who you resonate with. Yes. And I'm glad that you found that and you're happy here. Okay. So I have a bunch of questions here that people ask me. Are there any stereotypes that you hear often? In like the world of dating, I have had Japanese guys say things like, once you go black, you never go back. I'm like, what? Did you say that to your face? Yes! I've been in the elevator one time. There's this woman standing in the elevator with me. She looks at me and says, You're famous. I said, No. She said, Actress? Actress. I know it. I know it. I said, I said, I'm really, I'm sorry. You, you might be confusing me with somebody else. I am an engineer. She says, huh, Engineer but I know. And then she gets <laughs> off the elevator. <laughs> So you couldn't convince her? I could not convince her. I guess I've had more experiences where Japanese people think I am somehow an actress or an entertainer. I've even, it's funny, but I've even had it happen in my own company. <laughs> maybe you have a place for it. Maybe, maybe you should give it a shot. I don't know. So many people are saying it. <laughs> the other stereotype is anytime I go out with my friends, they want me to dance. Twerk Janelle, show us how! <laughs> show us how to dance! I like to dance, but my dancing is not the greatest is not that good but they think that because I'm black I can automatically dance it is not the truth when I talk about my family I've had someone ask are there any single moms because stereotype of the single black mother is common outside of America and so they think it applies to me too that's weird that's like the first time I'm hearing yeah that one caught me off guard yeah <laughs> I think stereotypes about Indian people the famous ones are mm. whenever they ask me where I'm from and I'm mm -hmm. saying like I'm from India yeah and they're like oh I love curry I love Indian food. I love naan. Oh I'm like, do you know that we don't eat naan every day? <laughs> like, no. <laughs> oh. There have been some problematics, but, but I think they didn't know that it was problematic. And not necessarily Japanese people. They told me that I do this bobble head thingy. I've had that said to me too about talking with my hands. Uh -huh. Someone said, oh, that's a very American thing. You guys love to talk with your hands. Other one I've heard is, mm -hmm. oh, you must be good at mathematics. <sighs> There was one time, it was very weird to me, I went mm. into a restaurant and then the owner asked me where I'm from yep. and I said, I'm from India yeah. and it's like, oh, you don't look Indian, you are not brown, Indian people are dark, we're a population of oh one billion gosh. people, yes. like you're not gonna look the same, oh, everyone's not gonna be the same, it kind of hurts, they yeah. have a stereotype in their mind and then like, you're not that person. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, what are you talking about? That is literally why it's a stereotype, yeah. <laughs> This should be changing your mind about how you feel about us as a whole. Yeah. I am showing you that your limited thoughts about how we look, how we should act, should probably broaden. How do you feel about living in Japan as 
the course of Kalo. My experience so far living here has been largely really amazing. I remember when I first got here, I felt like there were constantly eyes on me. <laughs> I feel like oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 I understand. Exactly, yeah. it's like you go on the train and you just feel like there are people staring from the side. From the side. <laughs> yes, and I remember being paranoid about that pretty often. And if I was looking at something, I would, you know, look around. Yeah, and I notice people. <laughs> like quickly, that. like moving their head. <laughs> it may be the first time that some of these people are seeing someone with my hair is in braids right now, but sometimes I wear my hair like out in its natural, like fro style. And for some Japanese people, it may be the first time they've ever seen that. And I've definitely had people run over and think that I was cool or somehow interested in their hip hop show thing but over time i feel like i'm not as aware of it anymore because i've just gotten used to it so it doesn't really bother me i've realized that uh, japan is a pretty homogeneous country so yes like, maybe tokyo is more diverse because like it's the capital but yeah. if you go out to other cities then they are not used to people who look like us people who look different yeah so it may not be negative all the time it's just them being curious curiosity yeah exactly that's the word <laughs> yeah i i see that with older women as well like, yes or just older people in general yes maybe because they're not used to it i guess that older women don't have a filter yeah and oftentimes but they comment on certain parts of my body and say wow so big <laughs> they don't care i felt the same thing as well like people do stare at me because i look different yeah and sometimes i'm like oh are they looking at me because they're thinking about something like right yeah in a bad way or in a good way i don't know <laughs> So, You'll drive yourself crazy with yeah, these thoughts yeah. too. It's like the should I feel self-conscious? Is it something about me? Am I looking bad? Is it, is it, <laughs> am I not dressed up properly? Exactly. I yeah. I feel like the sooner you're able to let go of those intrusive thoughts that can easily make you anxious in yeah. these places, the better off you'll be. In Japan it's like because we dress differently. Yeah, that's we too. look differently. And we're not trying to dress that traditionally Japanese. Can you talk yeah. about that, please? <laughs> that's a good point. Even yeah. the way you dress, how how has that affected the way people look at you here? I think Japanese people they wear a lot more covered clothing. Yes. And for me that has not been the case. So they would stare at me at what I'm wearing and I do yeah. get conscious sometimes. But yeah, I'm not trying to blend in. I'm just going to wear what I want. And there are a lot of things that we do conform. Like standing on the left side of the escalator, being quiet when you're in the train. They're just polite things that are a part of society that you should just do because that's how Japan operates. Yeah. But there are other things that are a part of you that you shouldn't have to give up just because you live here. How you dress to me is a reflection of yourself. At first I was trying to do the more muted tones, but now I'm gonna dress how I wanna dress. This is me. <laughs> you can't just change your whole personality because you're coming to a different country. Exactly. Yeah. And I don't want to. So yeah. <laughs> have you ever been treated differently? I've definitely been treated differently here than I have been in my home country back in America. But I feel like the way I've been treated is very much in line with Japanese culture and things that I had heard about Japan before getting here. For example, one day I was coming home and I was on the train. I get up, my stop is the next stop. And as I'm waiting for the doors to open, this older man comes and stands next to me. I'm like, okay, he's waiting as well. Then I notice that he's kind of glancing at me. And it's one of those situations where you're saying, is it in my head or is it actually happening? And I ultimately decided, let it go. We get to my stop, I walk off, we both walk off and he goes his way, I go my way. But as I walk a block, I notice he's across the street from me now. He's following me. And after a good 10 minutes of the walk, he keeps turning on the same streets that I am. Even if it might be a block away, he's always there. And I noticed that he's definitely following. And so instead of going home, I walked all the way to the grocery store and I pulled the cashier lady who does speak English, she's my savior. And I said, there's this weird guy, he's outside. And if you can let me know that the coast is clear, I would really appreciate it. Otherwise, I'm just gonna sit in here for 10 minutes. And that's what I did. And eventually it seemed like he wasn't around. 
I ran back to my house and I thought, that is the scariest thing I've ever experienced in my life. Back in America, unfortunately, you worry about things like gun violence, just violence, violence in general. Um, you also worry about being perceived as a threat as a black person. You worry that people think that you're stealing when you're in a store. You worry that people think that you're aggressive as a black woman. But here, I am worried about just being a woman without the black in front of it because I know that this is not just a problem that I would face as a black woman. It's a problem that women in general face in Japan. I mean, that's why if you buy a phone in Japan and you go to take a picture, it makes a little cha-ching sound or whatever, is so that people can be aware because they've had problems with the upskirt picture shots on trains and it's a whole thing. But I, I also think that Japanese people, because they're polite, like they wouldn't say something racist or problematic to yes. your face. There have been instances when I just told the other person that it's not okay and then they just went away at once. Uh, so maybe they got a little scared. Because they like, uh, yeah. she's willing to speak up and say <laughs> something yeah. about this. Yeah. Yeah. Is it different than your home country? Is it different? Oh yeah, absolutely. I feel like since America is a melting pot, it's very common, especially if you're living in a really populous area, the big cities, it is less likely for someone to be surprised to see someone who looks like you. Here, we stand out, period. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and so I get questions, not just from Japanese people, but from other foreigners as well. Things about my hair. How long did it take for you to do your hair like this? Uh, what does it feel like? I get questions about my culture. What is your family like? It's interesting to be able to have these conversations with people. I have them way more here than I would have in America and I actually quite like it because I get the chance to learn about other people's backgrounds. I haven't really had many instances here where I've felt offended. All of those instances are comical. I've had a Japanese guy run up to me on the street and he had this, I don't know how he got his hair into an afro, but somehow he did and he was wearing like street clothes and he's, oh, he got to come to my show tonight. I'm going to be rapping. What makes you think? I mean, we're in Shibuya. Really big area. Tons of people around. He runs up to me. And it's like, I could have been offended by that, but I honestly just find it funny. Japanese people are quite shy. They're less likely to even say something that could be offensive, in my opinion, or from my experience. Do you often correct them if there's something that's offensive, but they don't know it's offensive? I've never really had a reason to, and I think part of that is because most of the Japanese people that I spend my time with are Japanese people who have left the country before. They have had some sort of international experience, and because of that, it has influenced the way that they operate. They're not the traditional <laughs> Japanese person. And because of that, they know things that I guess maybe some Japanese people wouldn't know. That's good to know. Fortunately, I haven't had that problem back in India. I stood out here and it was very new to me. Oh, to have that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. It, I mean, people did stare at me back in India, but like, because I'm a woman. <laughs> Not because I'm brown. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. What do you think Japanese people mean by when they say foreigner? Do they mm. mean like conventionally white person? Mm. Or do you think they think about us as well? I'm honestly not too sure about this. Because in all the context that has been talked around around me, I have been the foreigner they're talking about. But if I step all the way back and you were to do an interview on the street with just random Japanese people, I would think and imagine that they would describe very likely a white foreigner. And by white, I mean European or even American, but white American. Mm. But I also know that the way that foreigners are othered, we kind of are all in the same boat in a lot of areas there. I mean, foreigners messing up, foreigners not knowing what's going on, can't understand Japanese. Now what you can get away with, depending on what kind of foreigner you are, I do think differs depending on how you look and which country you're from. I definitely think that if you have very dark skin and you say that you're from an African country anywhere, you are going to be treated differently than even me. Also, a black person with dark skin, there's like this system, there's this ranking, there's this hierarchy. And at the top, I really believe the blonde hair, blue eyes is going to go a longer way in Japan than the dark skin, dark eyes, curly, kinky hair like mine. Maybe here in Asia, we're just fascinated by Western culture. Mm. So when we think about the Western culture, we often 
even think about conventional white person with blonde hair and blue eyes. Yeah. So that's why I think they do get a lot of attention and they might not think that we our followers as well. Well, that was a fun conversation, Janelle. Thank you so much. Yeah, I loved it. I'm yeah. glad we had the chance to talk about this because I don't think I always take the time to self-reflect. Mm -hmm. And this was a way to sit down and say, how are things different actually here? Yeah. I think overall, as a country, Japan has impressed me. It has made me feel more calm in spirit than I feel like I would have been if I stayed in America. The constant pressure, the politics, it's like there's always this overhanging cloud where who you are and your identity is political and can be charged and it can be used against you. And here, I feel like I'm getting a breath of fresh air in a lot of ways where I can just be happy being a foreigner. I feel that as well. One major reason why I wanted to come abroad and study here mm. is because as a woman, things in India are very different. So mm. in Japan, I don't really feel that pressure. Thinking twice what I'm going to wear or what am right. I going on because Japan is just generally safer. So anybody who wants to come here, it's a good country. It's a safe country. Come to Japan. I love it. <laughs> Thank you, Janelle. I really appreciate that you took the time today and talked to us about such an important issue here in Japan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for having me. I had a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> and I will see you guys next week with another exciting video. Until then, like, share, and subscribe. <laughs>